Hey guys, today I wanted to show you guys a game that is wonderful for improving your relationship, um, building proximity to you, so the desire to be close to you. And I think it's also a really great kind of get out of dodge if you are in a situation where maybe your dog is reactive and you're walking past another dog or another person and you want your dog to remain focused on you instead of having some reactivity outburst out at the end of the leash. Um, so I really, really love this, this game. And actually we're going to be playing a few different games, um, but I really love this position for all of those things. So this position is called the middle position. It's one of Ding's service requirements, but I teach it to all of my personal dogs and I try to incorporate it into as many of my students' lessons as I can. So the first game we're kind of going to play is going to help our dogs get used to the idea of going in between our legs. So we are going to take our piece of kibble. I'm going to throw one out just to get her away from me. And then I'm going to throw this next piece of kibble through my legs so that she has to run. And then I'm going to do the same thing, turning around. And this game is called Thunder. And it just gets our dogs used to running in between our legs really quick. This is a great exercise for if there is, there you go, mamas. Um, this is a great exercise for if the weather outside is kind of crappy and um, we're not 100% able to, you know, maybe play fetch or go for a walk or anything like that. So I really, really like this game for that reason. And also our dogs are running around and they're not, um, and we're not doing as much work as um, maybe going for a walk. So if you are someone like me who has an autoimmune disease and you're having a, um, a not so great day, this game is a great alternative for that. I also um, have been able to find, like be able to sit on a chair and have my dogs just run past me um, when playing this game. So that's our first game is Thunder, just getting our dogs used to running through in between our legs. The next game kind of game that we're gonna play is the actual middle position. So to teach this, we're gonna have food in both of our hands and our dog in front of us. Now I'm going to be using my right leg to um, lure my dog around, but you can use either leg. Um, I like to differentiate between middle and heel position, which is my left leg. There you go, good mamas. That was the heel position. Come. So I want to make it super crystal clear for my dog. That's why I use my right leg. So I'm going to um, have my legs open. No. I'm going to work through this. Yes, good choice. So with my legs open, I'm going to present the lure, lure out, around, and then once I get far enough so that I can't move, uh, move my right arm any further back, I'm going to use my left arm and move and transition. I'm doing it slow for you guys, but I'm going to use my left arm to go in between my legs and pick up where my right arm left off. So my right arm is going to go up my back so she no longer follows my right hand, and I'm going to pick up with my left hand. So I'm luring over here. And I'm going to pick up with my left hand. There you go. And then bring her back in between my legs. And then I'm going to free her out forward um, of the position. Free. And then we're able to reset that game. So again, I'm going to lure her with my right hand till I can't anymore, pick up with my left hand and reward in position. By reward, I mean just yes and give our treat. And then I'm going to free her out and then do it all again. Yes, good girl. And once your dog gets a little bit more comfortable, you can become swifter with the, um, with the lure. So now I'm going to just kind of flick her into my, in between my legs, into that position with my right hand. So open my legs. Flick, yes, good girl. And it gets a little faster this way as well. 
Yes, good girl. Yes, good mamas. And then we can start adding our cue to this as well. So middle. Notice how I paused before I started my lure. I want to make sure that those are two separate things so that I'm not forever stuck with my lure to wrap around my leg. Free. So again, middle. There you go. Good girl. Oh, that's stuck to my hand. Sorry, mamas. Middle. Yes. Middle. Good girl. All right, so the last kind of game that I want to challenge you guys with is something called middle on the move. And this game is where the dog is in middle position and you are walking forward with the dog. This is where it's really, really helpful for when you are um, passing a, um, another dog or another person or any type of distraction. So I'm going to get my dog in the middle, and then I'm going to use my food as a lure to walk forward. Good girl. And I'm releasing food the whole time, um, the whole time I'm walking. You can start super, super easy with this. So middle, good girl. So one step, yes, free. Middle. Yes, good girl. One step, yes, free. Good job, mama is. Middle. One step, yes, free. So that is our game for today. Um, we actually have three games kind of in one. Funder, which is throwing the food between our legs to get our dogs used to doing any type of activity like that. Then we have our middle position, and then we have middle on the move. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions or are struggling, give me a comment down below, and I'm more than happy to help you out. You can also reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram. I will be more than happy to send you more videos and help out with that as well. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day, guys, and keep on training.